Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium R-Line. This particular one is platinum gray metallic on the exterior. Titan black leather on the interior with quartzite gray. And then also bench seating. Nothing has really changed from the 2022 model. LED running lights, LED headlights. LED turn signals and reverse lights, the splasher piano black and chrome on the front grille, the large 21 inch Brazelton R-Line wheels, faux quad exhaust tips at the back, trimmed out in chrome. It says Atlas right at the base of the Volkswagen logo there. The only place on the car the Atlas nameplate shows up. A 5,000 pound tow hitch right here with the seven pin adapter included right there. Oversized reflector at the base as well. That nice bow line down the side that goes from the middle of the tail lights just at the top of the silver uh, Atlas nameplate on the side there, on the side there, up over the wheel arches, under the door handles, into the front wheel arch, and the R line badge right here and up over the front end of the headlights. Very nice, iconic look for the car. Also chrome window sills, window surrounds all the way around and silver roof rails as well. Keyless entry on four doors and let's take a look inside. Fender premium audio right here, flat silver finish around this carbon fiber finish right here in the middle. Contrast stitching right here on the door inset with the quartzite gray, also quartzite gray on the arm pad here. Silver window switch tips right here and then your power mirrors and power heated mirrors, uh, power folding mirrors, I should say, and also your power lift gate down below here. A chrome scuff, scuff plate right here, a stainless steel. Dual contrast stitches right here on that little patch of uh, quartzite gray right here on the seat bolster. It goes up behind the shoulders here. Uh, the headrest right here is a manually adjusted headrest with a double contrast stitch right there as well. These seats are heated and ventilated. No deletes on the 2023s as of yet, anyway. Um, it's a heated and ventilated seat, and it's leather. Here's a look through from the front to the back. There's a look at that bench seat set up there. The two outboard seats are leather. The, in, the middle seat is going to be leatherette, and the third row seats are also leatherette. There's a light-colored headliner here with the matching sunshade there. And as we climb in here... Here's a look at your digital cockpit right here. Um, also, you have the automatic headlights right here. Coin box for storage right here. Stainless covered pedal caps down below. The footrest is not stainless covered, but the foot pedals are. On that instrument cluster there, this is the uh, digital cockpit Discovery Pro. Um, this will show navigation behind the screen as well, or behind the steering wheel, I should say. So I'm gonna just go over here to the navigation screen Touch the little arrow in the corner here, bring up the three lines, and check the box. And now it brings it over here for us. So here's your navigation with the dial screen. And by hitting the view button here, I can change. It's displayed there. So there's widescreen, and then there is the crop screen. And I can change the data that shows up in each one of these little panels right here. Um, the leather wrapped steering wheel is flat bottomed. It's also heated. The heated icon is right up here. Uh, you get this R-Line sport grip at nine and three on the steering wheel here as well. There's a lever here to pull out, push in, raise and lower that steering wheel wherever you need it and then lock it in place. The R-Line badge right here, splash of piano black with that as well. There's also piano black behind here, flat silver finish around the spokes here as well. Um, the automatic headlights, I can pull out on this to activate my poor weather lights or all weather lights. They work like fog lights. This little icon here indicates that they're on. Now keep in mind, even though this is turned to auto, this pulled out leaves, means your lights are going to be on all the time that you're driving the car. So to go back to the auto on off, you have to push in on that. That deactivates the poor weather lights and the lights will go back to the automatic function. Um, over here, oh, well, here, the vents are trimmed out in silver, continuing from the door here to flat silver. Uh, this one here, then here going around the radio and over to the other side. And then there's also that carbon fiber pattern right here in the dash and continuing into the door panel here. On that radio, it's an AM, FM and satellite radio. I also have gesture control. Anytime I see that little hand right there, illuminated right there, I can wave my hand in front. 
and do the gesture control. Pretty cool. Um, it does also have App Connect, which allows me to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly in this car. So um, I don't need cables to do that. That's a very nice feature as well. Down below, there's two USB-C connections right here. They're also backlit so you can see them at night. A 12-volt charger port right here. And then wireless charging on this pad right here. You store your phone on. You still keep this shifter here. Uh, there's rumors that the 2023, the next model is going to have a new shifter and a new infotainment system. Uh, but this one here keeps what we had in 2022. There's a speaker right here as well, storage bin right here. This is an auto dimming mirror, but it is not your home link mirror or uh, the home link connect mirror. Uh, it's just a regular auto dimming mirror. Those currently are not available uh, to be installed on your factory order for the car. So this is the mirror they default to. You'll have to add the mirror link mirror uh, afterwards by service the service department um, let's take a look at the glove box here there's your manuals right there tire warranties are below that as well right here these are your seat belt clip protectors right here or seat belt clip protectors if you're using a car seat um, the fender audio logo shows up in the speakers on both doors or all four doors I should say even the back two doors have that and there's a look at that door inset there with the stitching right there the contrast stitch, the quartzite gray, and then it also continues on the seat right here too. Quartzite gray on the uh, bolster, and then the inseam or the in, the inner part of the seat is all leather. They're heated and ventilated, as I said. We'll go back over here. There's your heated seat and ventilated seat, and you can run these simultaneously if you want. Um, it's just basically starts on high, then medium, then low, then off on both the heated seat and the ventilated seat. Uh, you can also adjust your vent settings here too. Uh, just hitting this button right here brings it up on screen and then you can touch whichever setting you're wanting for your vents uh, your uh, vents um, down here is a menu button you can also bring that up and you can choose between front and rear controls and you can also turn on air care air care is a filtration system is going to filter out all the bad air the stinky air outside uh, this little blue line is going to expand as it continues to scrub the air here kind of give you a status update i don't know if that's really showing up on camera or not but there's a blue light a blue line right there that is expanding to show the progress of the air care as long as you have all of the windows and doors shut this will be active if you have a door open or a sunroof open or a window open this will not activate just so you know that the backup camera for this car awesome HD camera here you also have trajectory steering I turn the wheel left I can turn the wheel right that yellow line moves accordingly I do also have a green line right there that stays put and sign signifies straight back and then a red line signifies where the bumper is um, also on this car 360 camera which brings up the overhead camera view here it pieces together images from both the mirrors the front nose camera and the rear camera to give you this overhead image here um, it's pretty detailed it even shows shadows here and you can touch any panel any quadrant here to show that specific camera on this side and then there's also the fisheye view there's the regular view here and then there's um, the nose view and then there's also a uh, trailer view I'm not sure how to get to it on this one let's see here there it is there's the trailer view all right and then this is a like a parallel parking view um, and then it also shows the fisheye view again um, I'm just gonna put it back on the regular one right there and we can turn this off by pushing this button right here you do also have park assist park assist will give you uh, will assist you in per perpendicular parking or parallel parking and to change to do the side here with the parallel parking you just turn the turn signal and indicate which side you want to go to and then it does the rest for you. You you you, you actually control the gas, the gear, and the brake. And I've uploaded a few videos of Park Assist. So if you just search for one of those one of those videos, I think I have like five of those. You'll be able to tell um, how it works. Um, also, the emergency brake right here. Pull up on that guy to activate, and then you put your foot on the brake and push down to release. Here's your push button start. You do also have. Um, the four motion mode here so you can turn it to snow mode you also have the roadway where it does eco normal sport or custom and if you want to save on fingerprints just push the button instead of touching the screen eco normal sport and custom 
Most people are going to drive in eco or normal. Uh, you do also have an off-road button and an off-road custom. Off-road custom is going to allow you to tweak these different things here. Turn on and off the hill descent control, the st hill start assist, to turn it on and off, park assist on and off, and then also uh, all-wheel drive system off-road. Um, you can turn it on, turn it to normal or, or off-road. So we'll just turn this back to the roadway here. So now we're back. Um, I did mention um, the uh, heated seats and the ventilated seats, all that good stuff. But uh, I didn't mention the vanity mirror up here on top. You do have a vanity mirror with an LED light above on each side. Passenger and driver. Now it is an LED light, so that's a that's a nice uh, feature. Um, then you do also have this power sunshade. It goes all the way back and covers the first two rows. The sunroof. This is this pane of glass will stack on top of that pane of glass there, and you have a pop-up windscreen right here. The windows are tinted uh, for the every window except for the front two, including the sunroof. They're all tinted. Uh, the windshield, of course, is not tinted. But there's your pop-up windscreen, and look at the opening there for the sunroof. Very, very nice. Uh, the armrest right here. There's storage in here. There's a USB-C connection in here. There's also a drop-in safe that you can put in here as well. It's a nice added touch where you can lock valuables up, especially if you're a concealed carry uh, individual. You can actually lock up a, a small uh, weapon in here as well. Um, let's take a look at the second row seats. Now, this one was an ordered car. It was a canceled order because the customer ended up not being able to wait for it to be built. So he bought uh, something else. So this one comes in at 53672 and it is available. It's available right now. It's, today is August 13th. It is available today, but it may not be available tomorrow, just so you know, guys. Uh, the MSRP on this car is 53672. The upgrades include uh, 327 for the monster mats, uh, 170 for the trailer hitch extras, and 90 bucks for a roadside assistance kit. Uh, 1295 for destination bringing you 53672 and we are not marking these cars up this is msrp plus our 399 dock fee right here sunshade built into both rear passenger doors there's a look at that quartzite gray right there with the contrast stitching the arm pad is a little larger in the back doors uh with that quartzite gray uh leatherette right there silver switch covers there fender logo right here lots of storage for bottles and cups right here Here's a look at the bench setup here. Outboard seats are heated. This is real leather here. Same with the one over there. As we go ahead and climb in here, magazine pocket right here. Lots and lots and lots of leg room here, guys. If you're considering the Atlas in your uh, search and maybe Explorer is in there, maybe Telluride is in there, I'm telling you what, the leg room and the space in this car, unsurpassed. Very, very nice. There's a look at my socks today. They're not as boring, but they're still kind of plain. Um, Here's a look through from the back to the front. And I'm actually gonna close the sunroof here because there's a little bit of glare coming in. There's a look at the instrument cluster right there, center console, and that way air care will start up again. Here's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof over my head right here. Back here, your rear vents or second row passenger vents are right here. There's little louvers here that you can adjust. Also, you can adjust the fan speed back here. And also, you have heated seats back here for the two outboard seats. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off, just like they do up front. Uh, you'd have two more USB-Cs right here and a three-prong plug-in right here. So you can charge your laptop and what have you right here. Or, or if you're inclined, you can plug in a blender. <laughs> uh, you can make it a party bus. Don't drink and drive. I'm just saying that. I'm just putting that out there. There's a look at those seats right there, the leather seats. Car seat hookups are here and here, and also here and here. These little sl slits right here allow you to get to the little the rungs to connect to. There's also a car seat hookup in the middle seat right here as well. And they're labeled with these little guys here. So you can get three car seats in this row. Fold down armrest right here, squishy yet firm. Adjustable headrest on all three seats. All right, and then there's a look over the top at the rear seats there. Those headrests flick up with the flick of a wrist there and they also fold flat. Adjustable seat belt clips uh, for the front two up here, the back two rows, these seat belts are not adjustable. Uh, I don't think you really need them to be because they're kind of fixed into the place there. 
and there's another look at that giant panoramic sunroof let's take a look at the rear hatch there's a look at those gorgeous 21 inch Brazelton R-Line wheels as we come back here to the back right between the T and the L is the gasket switch uh, to open the hatch here's a look through from the back to the front remember this is a true seven seater there's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof again C pillar vents here and here for rear passenger comfort and then you do also have two USB C's right here as well and they're also it's kind of hard to see there the sun glare came in there's a total of seven USB C's and a 12 volt charger port right here these seats will fold flat just flip this forward and there's velcro straps there that are attached to uh, allow you to pull those up and bring them right back up steel reinforcing plates behind these seats or inside of these seats that protects you from rear impact crashes uh, any kind of cargo that you're carrying back here will want to drive forward into the backs of these seats and that would injure people in the seats if there's not protection there you are protected there the second row bench is also still reinforced there you can uh not you don't have to worry about things coming through the seat or injuring people in the seat pushing on a seat or anything like that they're still reinforcing plates there there's also a roadside assistance kit here cargo blocks right here and then you also have monster mats here's your trailer hitch extras right there in that box trailer hitch cover right here and tow ex towing accessory bag right here seat belt clips off to the side so if you want to clip your seat belts out of the way carrying cargo trying to do this with one hand they're on each side right here just like that and then there's that 12 volt charger port um, there's also a spot down here for your privacy cover if you want to nest it right down below there it's a spot for it underneath the carpet right here you lift up on this guy here there is your quick release subwoofer it's a fender subwoofer uh, and you remove this guy right here and remove the carpet and then your spare tire is underneath and the button to close is right here this car will come with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen that includes two years of free maintenance your 10 and 20,000 mile oil changes are covered also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a third year free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Now that third year is a local deal only. You have to get that at my dealership. I'm at Bomberito St. Peter's. There's two Bomberito locations in St. Louis. I'm at the St. Peter's location on I-70. So, also if you buy from me, I'm going to give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles, nearly a quarter million miles free of charge if you're interested in a car like this one give me a call 636-290-4257 636-290-4257 i'm on tiktok youtube facebook twitter and instagram at reese sells cars and remember this one is available it's a canceled order it won't last long but it is available currently today august 12th i'm sorry august 13th 2022 this one's available it won't be for long 636-290-4257 I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.